Well, good morning. The entire neighborhood. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back, everybody, to my channel. Today's video, it's about a day in my life. So come along with me. Days begin pretty early on the island. Terry begins his chores around 4.30 a.m. and he's on the boat at 7.30 a.m. I got up early this morning and went ahead and did my home care position for an hour. I went back home and went to bed, took a little nap for another hour, and now I am up. Getting my chores done, which includes collecting eggs and getting those washed. I made sure to put some on for a boil because I'm going to make some beet eggs for later. Get the rest put away. Put the top on and get those refrigerated. Now I am making my pickled brine for my beet eggs. I always make sure to have a jar on hand in the refrigerator at all times. Trying to use up all of that extra matzah, so for breakfast, I've got matzah and scrambled eggs. First, I'm gonna take you guys for a tour around our yard and show you all what we've been working on to make this yard spectacular for tourist season. Memorial is going to be in about two weeks. So it's gonna be here really fast. And that's really when the summer season, our tourist season really kicks off. The restaurants are open, everything's open. The island just really comes to life with a whole bunch of day trippers and then overnight guests. So it's an exciting time. Um, Terry and I do a lot of preparation for that. Obviously we're getting our business together. Uh, we've gotta get that ready, Jack and Pickles. I'll show you guys that later, but the first thing that we're definitely trying to work on is our own personal yard. We really like things to be polished. Um, our yard gets a lot of tourist action because we are in the center of town, so to speak, and we've got chickens that everybody loves to gawk at. Uh, and truth be told, um, Cleopatra, she, she really is a very funny chicken to watch you know, because she's the one that just looks like a giant pom-pom ball. So, we gotta get everything looking nice. So, all right, let's take a tour. I noticed that a duck had laid three eggs in one of my little animal carriers over here, and then she just never came back. It just so happened that our dear dumpling girl is brooding quite badly. She's fluffed up all the time and she laid herself about a million and a half eggs and she's just been sitting there. We have not seen hide nor hair of her for five days. So what I did was I took the duck eggs and I put them under her. Her eggs are not fertilized. We do not have a rooster. So I'm wondering if she's actually going to be able to hatch these duck eggs and how funny is that going to be if we have some little baby ducks that have imprinted on a chicken. Probably already here. What's up dumpling girl? What's up? You doing alright? Maybe you need some water. You guys hear noises? 
Oh yeah, she's protecting her eggs. The weather here keeps absolutely teasing us. We'll have a couple of nice days, uh, close to 70 degrees, and then it's just gone and chilly. Uh, today, at least it's warm out, even though it's kind of overcast and gloomy. At least I'm able to sort of come outside and get a couple of things done. So I want to show you all how Terry and I have rearranged this yard and how I rearranged my little pallet gardens. Pallets make the easiest garden beds ever. You just throw it down and you put your dirt in. Um, I put a few bags. I have not planted anything over here yet or here or this row. However, I have planted a bunch of greens and my beans are starting over here. Got strawberries, beautiful mint, and this is supposed to be cilantro, but I'm telling you the birds are absolutely killing it. They are picking it to death. Now I did have my palettes right here, directly in the middle, and I got tired of them just being in the way. So I moved them to the side, and then I moved my little raised garden bed. I have not done anything with it yet, just dumped the dirt in. I found this really pretty planter and trellis at Tractor Supply, so I put in some grapes. I used to have grapes at my parents' house and they were just beautiful, so I'd like to have that again. What's the matter with you? Huh? What's the matter? We added a nice little oasis to keep out of the bugs and Terry and I have been out here a couple of times. We would like to be out here more, but the weather just hasn't been that great. We've got our tiki torches and what we had in there was just some hot coals. Kept this warm and I made some hot dogs. We were sitting there and watching the bay. Not a bad rig. We are getting ready for tourist season, so we took the kayaks and moved them to the other side of the fence. So I'm gonna have to make sure to get our rental sign out when the time comes. All right, we had two of these stone benches. I just didn't, I thought it was just too cluttered here, so I had Terry move one of these benches, and I think it turned out really nice where we moved it to. So it was there, and now we've got it over here. Right there. We added some, I know, I think they're both azaleas? Maybe just one's an azalea. You guys tell me. But we added a couple of those to the front yard. I put together a little brick border for my flower bed. Got some hanging plants. Let me try to make it look springy around here. We have fairies that live in our tree. See? We get doors and windows. That was so cute. I was showing you guys the fairy trees and a couple of girls in the neighborhood, they stopped and like, oh, Miss Allie, what, what are you filming? And I said, oh, like fairies moved into my tree. Look, they put, they put doors on my tree and they're like, oh, cool. I didn't know fairies could do that. What's up, Myrtle? Okay, so this brown one, that is Harriet. <laughs> the one with the tail right here, that is Jasper. And then this one right here is Gertrude. <laughs> Welcome to the flat, guys. Some homemade honey. 
hummus, putting it in some romaine lettuce, and then putting my falafel balls right on top. Perfect lunch. So the ducks have laid a bunch of eggs in this animal carrier that we have, and my chickens have been taking turns sitting on them. <laughs> Aww, you doing a good job, Myrtle. You're gonna make this mother duck go crazy. Aww. You being a share again, Mommy. That's so nice. Uh oh, Mama. As I am pe preparing for Shabbat, my mom is over here watching one of my old videos. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. She's she's watching my old videos and she's even watching the ads. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I had just gotten some income tax money back, so I got myself some game-changing items. That big container for flour and, ta-da, a stand mixer. No, I did not have any kind of mixer before, and isn't it beautiful? I'm going to get my yeast proofed right there and then start putting my dry ingredients inside of my bowl. Oh, this was just so exciting and it was so much easier. Whipped it all up in a very short period of time and look how absolutely gorgeous that dough is. I'm gonna let it rise and then move on to my next project. For an easy side dish, I have some very thinly sliced zucchini. I'm going to line that in my casserole dish with a little bit of virgin olive oil. And then I'm going to slice up some potatoes, pretty thin, and layer those on top. I periodically add just a little bit more olive oil as I go along. I'm going to slice up some onions and put those on top of the potatoes and then repeat the process with my sliced zucchini. Okay, I have got some things in the oven. I made my cucumber salad that is in the refrigerator, my bread or my dough is currently rising. So pretty soon I'm gonna punch that down and tonight I'm using my challah bread mold. To try to make it a little bit more easier on myself. It is a little after four, but I'm not stressed out. Uh, with springtime and when the summer is on its way, we get longer days. So I've got more time to get my Shabbat prep done, which I'm pretty excited about. All right, I gotta continue, let's go. I forgot to mention that the main dish for tonight's Sabbath meal is actually vegetable pizza. So I'm making the sides that goes around that, but it doesn't always have to be brisket. Look, that is the third gift to myself, a gorgeous hot plate, which I'm not gonna be using this night but I do look forward to using that when I have a lot of food that I need to keep warm over Shabbos. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my table ready and then start to get out my items for the Sabbath. I need to start looking for the candles and put Terry on candle duty because the wax gets stuck in the candles and he's the only one that can dig it out for me. Terry was on candle duty. Thank you. For the Sabbath, my house needs to be clean. And I can't stand looking at dirty floors. So I made sure to vacuum really quick, try to get everything looking nice. Came back, punched down my dough. 
Working with this dough was such a treat. It was a beautiful consistency. So I started kneading it and I made sure to incorporate all the beautiful prayers into my wonderful challah dough and thank God for the beautiful gift of bread, life, love, my family, and I took off a piece in remembrance of the temple. I need to note that my wonderful husband is helping me at this point with all of the dishes so that I don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna spray my challah molds and then put my dough balls inside. Push them down just slightly, but I want these to rise for a little bit. I am back to taking care of the floor. After all of those trips back and forth from doing yard work outside, there's just a lot of mud on my kitchen floor and I don't want to look at that during the Sabbath, so here we go. I do realize that I am barefoot and scrubbing the floor, <laughs> but uh, that's how I roll. My molds are filled out just enough so I'm going to take out my zucchini and potato dish and then switch out my bread. I have flipped my bread out of the molds and now I'm getting some egg whipped up so that I can coat it on the top. Get it coated. I don't know how I was making bread before without a stand mixer. Wow, it was definitely a game changer. All right, I'm gonna make sure that I've got plenty of water for Shabbos, and I do. Whew, bread is out, and the apron is coming off. We had our zucchini and potato casserole, vegetable pizza, we had cucumber salad, we had our egg beets, and we used paper plates. The Sabbath doesn't always have to be fancy. And I then prepared for my new Sabbath routine. I'm able to do Zoom meetings with a local synagogue and join in. So they've been asking me to do readings and it has been wonderful to be able to have fellowship and find a congregation that I can pray with and be part of. This is also where my video ends. Thank you so much for joining me for a day in the life of Petite Fireball. See you guys next time. Peace be with you.